Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to mine Cigna. This video is a beginner's guide for anyone interested in mining Cigna. In this video we will set up our wallet, set up our miner, create plots, join a pool, stuff like that. This is probably going to be a long video. But do not worry, this is a tutorial for complete beginners. And there will be some answers to common questions made by new miners. So it's totally recommended to watch the video completely. As this is a tutorial for people interested in mining. The only thing that I expect from you is just to have some basic knowledge about blockchain in general. Easy stuff like, what is a blockchain and how in general crypto works. If you have no idea how cryptocurrency works or functions, I highly recommend searching a basic video on YouTube. So let's begin, what is Cigna? Cigna is the coin from the Signum blockchain, yes it is that simple. It is not a coin from Ethereum. It is not a coin from Binance Smart Chain. It is not a coin or sort of token from Uniswap, Metamask or PancakeSwap, none of that stuff. It's just a coin with its own blockchain on a unique algorithm. Cigna is a decentralized cryptocurrency that was previously called Burstcoin. Signum has been running since 2014 with no eco, no airdrops or pre-mine. Signa is a mineable coin with hard drives and you can commit your own Signa for mining. We will talk about this later. At this moment I am just giving a basic explanation of what Signa is. A fun fact is that in the spirit of Bitcoin's anonymous creator, Burstcoin original developer, remained hidden as the crypto journey began. Mining this coin is pretty accessible and the only thing needed is disk space. You can use Windows, Linux, Mac, an old office computer, gaming PC, home server or even tiny computers like Raspberry Pi. So these are the steps for mining Cigna. In this video tutorial we are going to use Windows. We are going to use the BT Dex wallet. The BT Dex wallet is available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. Before downloading the wallet BT Dex, we must download Java version 8 or 11. In my case I am downloading Java 11 on my Windows PC. Once you install it on your computer, we can proceed to download the wallet. So the way to download BT Dex is by going to btdex.trade, click on the download button and pick which platform you want to download the wallet. I will pick Windows because I am using Windows as an operating system. Once we open BT Dex, we are going to set up our Signum account. You can choose between the following options, creating a new Signum account or restoring an existing Signum account. If you already have a Signum account created, you can restore it by just importing the recovery phrase. In my case, I am going to create a new Signum account. Be sure to write your 12-word recovery phrase on a piece of paper and choose a pen. With the recovery phrase, you can access your account even if you lose access to your computer or forget your pen. No one should see your recovery quote, so keep it in a safe place, just like you would with cash or jewelry. Once you write down your recovery phrase, you need to assign a pin for protecting the wallet on your device. The pin is used to add another layer of security to the wallet. If you ever lose this pin or your computer, your recovery phrase is your only backup. Once you enter and confirm the pin, you need to accept the license terms and conditions of the wallet. Once you read it and agree to it, you can click on OK. For security purposes, accounts that are newly created need to be activated before you can interact with it or transfer coins from exchanges to your account. Do not worry, the BT Dex wallet automatically activates your new Signum account. So let's start creating plots, joining a pool and finally mining. Now you go to the mining tab to prepare your disks, performing the activity called plotting. You must select a folder for each hard drive you want to use. The plot files will be stored in these folders. For each drive you've selected, use the corresponding slider to the right of it to allocate the amount of space you want to use. In my case I choose 55 gigabytes because I will simply create the plot files for educational purposes. If you are more curious and want to know more, I recommend you to take a look to the frequently asked questions on the ecosystem page, I will share the link down below in the description. Once you finish choosing the respective plotting options, you just have to click on the start plotting button. 
you will notice that your plot file is already created, but the plotting process is not finished yet. This is a normal process since the plotting process needs to carry out the heavy tasks by pre-calculating and storing all the information necessary to forge the blocks. So please, just wait for the plotting process to finish. Resources of my computer doing plotting, it is normal that your computer's RAM gets full. The plotting process will end once the console tells you plotting successfully finished. So now let's start mining. You are able to mine solo or join a pool, it is up to you to decide the way you want to mine Cigna. In this tutorial, we are going to join a mining pool because this guide is for beginners. If you want another tutorial for mining Cigna solo, please like the video and comment down below. You may ask. Which pool do you recommend joining? Choose the pool of your preference, you can join any of those pools on the BT Dex list. We recommend that you join the smaller pools, this activity is promoted by any blockchain community because it helps with the decentralization of any chain. You can find a list of active Signum pools on the ecosystem page, and then you decide if you want to see the pools from mining stats or pool bay. Once you decide which pool you will join, click the button join the pool. A new dialog will appear. To join a pool you have to make a transaction and this requires some Cigna to pay the transaction fee. Luckily, our new account receives some Cigna from the activator service. This service is supported by community donations. So let's continue. Make sure to set the fee to the minimum amount and insert the pin you set up before. Once fee and pin are entered, you can click on the OK button. After starting this transaction to join the pool, you need to wait about 4 block confirmations, which is around 16 minutes. Once the 16 minutes goes through, we can start mining by clicking the button Start Mining. In the console, you should see some messages, indicating that you are already mining. If you are more curious and want to know more, I recommend you to take a look to the frequently asked questions on the ecosystem page, I will share the link down below in the description. In about 5 minutes you can go to your pool's website to check your performance and your pending balance. You can press the button on the right of the pool selector menu. Now you know how to mine Cigna on the Signum blockchain. But this guide for Cigna mining has not ended yet. As a miner now you need to know about the Cigna commitment, which is a complementary step on the mining process. The Signum commitment is going to be explained in another video. You can find the video on the description down below. Thank you for watching this video.